it's Marie. And I've been making tunnel cards. I decided to do them for Easter. So I thought I would um, come on and do a little demo about the tunnel cards because I kind of put them away and forgot about how those get assembled. So this is one I made out of the tunnel card a finishing school box. And I have an image that I put in here that I had downloaded from a company online. Over here, I used a little, one of the egg shapes and one of the rub-ons. So, um, this is the die set, and I'd also bought the die set. So here you have the card base. You have, um, sorry, there's a little glare from the light. Um, the card base and flowers and leaves and stuff if you want to use them. This is the basic insert. So you need to cut um, one, two, three, four of them. And as you cut these, this piece doesn't have a cut edge on the inside. So you need to add in whichever uh, layer you're doing of the four. So you want four different ones of that. And then this is the piece that goes over here on the side that holds in this side of the mechanism. So I thought I'd put together one that I cut with the die set and show you how I put it together. So this is cut from the die set. Like I said, you want double-sided paper and you know, it can really go either way, whichever you want. I kind of wanted this on the front. So I have that for the front and then on the inside will be the more muted pattern. But then I wanted the contrast of the front on the inside. When you cut those four pieces, you also get, and I forget about this, die set because these are great layering pieces, these shapes. So you have four different shapes left. So those are going my stash of things that I can use later. So what I do when I start is I put um, my double-sided tape on where things go. So this is the piece that goes over here. So it, the adhesive needs to be on this side. And then whichever side you want up facing out in the card base, you want the tape on, on this side, not on this side. So I start with the smallest one and I take off one, one side. We're gonna do the inside first. The fold is right here. So I take this piece and lay it up against, make sure there's no adhesive showing, lay it up against the fold line and then press it down and reinforce your folds as you go. So that's the first one. And they go from the smallest to the largest. This one will be next. These emboss with a really, I don't know if that's gonna show. There's a really neat embossing that, that this die has. That's not in the finishing school box. You get this texture. You could sand it or um, ink it. But anyway, I hadn't used this kit, so I decided that's going to be a lot of my Easter cards this year. So, and same thing, you butt up to that line because you want these on top of each other so that everything is straight when it folds in. If you don't get this straight, it's not going to fold right. There's the second one. Go with the third one. the line, straight on the edges, reinforce the fold, and the last one. There's so many pretty papers that you can use for this. You could use a solid, it would be fine, 
Um, I might do some embossing if I did that on, on like the front. Because you can cover up as much as you want. So there's that one. And fold it down. So now we have this, like a little booklet kind of thing. So the next step is fold it down, make sure it's all getting level. And we're gonna take this piece, which is kind of part of the hinge, I guess you would call it. And I'm gonna take off all this adhesive. You could use wet glue for this. I kind of like the that it's in place and stays in place when I do it for this. So I'm lining it up so that it's corner to corner and right at the edge. And that goes down. Then you take the first one that's in front of you and you take off the adhesive. Now this one, it's going to be the kind of same thing where you line this up with the fold of the previous one. And that way the very base of this is, is perfect. And you have this little shadow box showing in here now. So the next one Take off the adhesive. I found it was easier to do the double-sided tape too because I could get it all on before I got in here. I'm trying to keep my head out of here. Put it right up next to where the other one, the top of that other fold is. And put it in there. You see that? Same thing, we're gonna keep folding it. And then we're on the third one. And get it up to the edge. And hopefully that's okay. Let's see here. Usually I have my head all over this a little bit harder this way, but I thought that might help you to see this and maybe, I haven't seen many tunnel cards, so hopefully you'll dig them out and, and use them. Okay, then the last one is just lined up with the very edge of this, this light green print right here. And press it in. So now you have this. There's the edge of the card. Folds over. And there's your card. So that's how I put that together. And then I'll get embellishments for this one and work on it. I thought I would put together one that I, I, I was sitting here putting this together. And I thought I should get on and show you guys how I'm doing this. So the inside of this, I'm using a lot from the Climbing Vine decoupage, but you could use anything on this really. Um, but it's good to, you can cut it apart and put pieces in. To get the rabbit in, I just insert my hand in there with some glue, because then I can move it around. For that, I did use wet glue. And then these are um, parts of the pieces of the Sugar Aid die. Really cute images in that. So this opens up to this, and then I wanna put this egg over here. The egg is out of this Easter set. Over here, is, you have three different egg sizes that you can use. And I used the springtime spring rub-on 
on this egg. Just put it through your Empress. So I'm gonna put some glue on there. I do find that works for me really well with the using the Empress for to do the the uh, rub-ons. It's easier than rubbing it. And we'll put that there. So I think that's good for the inside of the card. That pink looks a little dark, huh? On the screen, but it's pretty in person. Okay, I'm gonna shut this. I've used a lot of the lace doily. I really like using those. It looks like springtime to me. So for this one, here's my tape runner. I just run around. some more glue on here around the edges hold the very edge of it you could use your Xyron if you like doing that I'm not I'm too fond of doing that it's too much mess for me to clean up and I, I don't have the patience hard to admit that but I don't okay I'll put this in the middle And then because this is thick enough already with all that paper inside, I just picked one of the, um, grab the box here, the springtime collage toppers. I've been using those on the front. So I'm gonna use that here. Isn't that cute? Put it in the middle. So, some glue. Get a little bit on these pointy parts. And try and get it in the middle. And then you can see it's too long, tall whichever direction you're looking at it and push that down and take these scissors and go to the back side cut that off So that one's done. And then I'll just write a message on the back. So, and I'll have let you look at this one again. This is again from, the Easter egg is from this die set. And the bunnies from the toppers. Here's the grass from that die I just showed you, the grass, to get it to set on something, give you a background. And then I just use the vines to fill it out, the little chicks. And here's one more, another topper, and a happy Easter friend with the doily. Use the roses and the little chicks. Another rub on, and then there'll be a message on the back. Okay, I hope you dig out your uh, your tunnel cards and use them. Uh, this bridge also comes with the sugar egg, and it would look really cute inside of here. 
depending upon what you put at the back, but it'd be really cute. So I just encourage you to use what you have, use your supplies, and don't be afraid to experiment. Thanks for watching. Bye.